Hello YouTube, how y'all doing? Ah, crap. Okay. Hello YouTube, how y'all doing today? Um, sorry it took so long. I had to do a couple of moving and stuff like that and get the groove and stuff. You know, you like our new headphones. Uh, these headphones ain't doing shit right now, honestly. Like, I just got them on just to have them on. But anyway, let's go ahead and jump right into the video. Here, we're, what we're going to do is, it's not going to be a very long video, hopefully. Um, we're going to talk about issues that started from July until now, including a personal couple of issues of my own. And I'm pretty sure you know this company very well. Uh, basically, Straight Talk. Now, let's go ahead and get started. It's a company that's supposed to basically use Verizon's network, barring the towers that so-called owned by Verizon. I didn't know you could own radio signals, but oh well. We already know that the United States of America is very famous for monopolizing on things that should be free and making billions, even trillions of dollars off of it. You get a fraction of what you're getting, but you don't get at a fraction of the price. But anyways, so basically Straight Talk here, we're gonna go over a couple plans. Now, with Straight Talk plans, they have three extraordinary plans that we're gonna talk about. We're not gonna talk about the bronze $35 plan because rarely do people get that one. What we're gonna do is talk about their other three plans. Now, one of the first plans is a plan I usually get myself. It's called their Silver Unlimited plan. With their Silver Unlimited plan, it is $45 a month. And just recently, before the whole takeover, maybe during the beginning of takeover, the $45 plan got changed to have unlimited data. Okay, so you didn't have to get the $55 plan, you can get the $45 plan. Now, it used to be a time where you can just pay for the plans outright with no taxes. Uh, you can't do that anymore. Now, depending on the state that you live in, the tax can go anywhere from just a few cents to almost $10 extra. What, I don't know. Um, but there's seven, uh, uh, unlimited plan offers the five dollar hot spot and and stuff like that now um on other terms another plan that they do have is the two other plans now they have what is called their gold unlimited plan which is 55 dollars with the gold unlimited plan 55 dollars you get the same thing as the silver plan it's just that you get more hotspot and now you get 100 gigabytes of cloud storage which 100 gigabytes of cloud storage was only on the 65 dollar plan and with the platinum that gets you 20 gigabytes of hotspot and you get the 100 gigabyte of cloud storage protection uh plan that's on there now here's the gripe and i'm pretty sure i'm going to look at a lot of reviews everybody knows that ever since verizon went and decided to take over straight talk that straight talk has been straight trash and the reason why it has been straight trash is because in my theory, let's get straight to the point, I feel like Verizon, who is supposed to be this big company who we already know, like, they want their own stuff. They want to keep their own stuff. They want to keep doing their own thing. But anyways, Verizon is, is you know, what Straight Talk Network is using. Well, what do you do in order to get rid of your competition? You play the Walmart move. Ever since Walmart has been the first trillion dollar company in the United States of America, almost every single company has decided to copy off the same game plan that Walmart has implemented. I know, I was working there when all this wouldn't happen, which is hire less employees, pay them minimum, but try to have them do 10 times more work while increasing the price on everything after getting rid of your competition. Now, here, how does that work? What it happens is Walmart will move into an area, okay, just like other companies, they go into an area, and what they do is they super drop their prices, even below the competition's prices. And what do people do? Because pe most people are brain dead and just don't pay attention to what's really going on. They go over there and say, hey, this is much cheaper. I can save more money to go on vacations and stuff like that because see, they don't plan ahead. So then they go to Walmart, they go buy that super cheap stuff. And then what happens is the small business goes out of business and gets hired at Walmart for like $11 an hour, which is 16 now. And then they turn around and they jack up their prices after these companies go out of business. Say for instance, you used to get your bread, very good bread for $1.75 a loaf at the bread store. Well, Walmart's around there, they decide they're gonna make their bread loaves 85 cents. And Walmart is a billion dollar company, so it can afford to temporarily 
drop their prices. Then what happens is, is that this new company will, uh, 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 what old company, my bad, will turn around and can't afford the overhead. So what they have to do is they have to go out of business. They have to go bankrupt because they can't afford the bills anymore because nobody's shopping there because instead of having a dollar and 75 fresh bread, they'd rather have the cheap 85 cent a loaf hard bread because it's cheaper, not better, just cheaper. And then what happens is, is that once that business go out of place and Walmart sees there's no other competition for any loaves of bread, they didn't jack their loaves up to almost $3 a loaf. So instead of you paying the 175 you was playing before, you're now paying $3 for that exact same loaf of bread. And guess what? That bread is still trash. It's still trash. Instead of you just continue to shop and support the small business. This is what Walmart does. Walmart has done this in a lot of areas. And there have been businesses who have been smart enough to fight back against it by waiting for a Walmart to actually pop up. And then they go and build their stores around that said Walmart because they know people are getting tired of Walmart. Walmart is getting stale. Verizon is doing that exact same game plan. And I feel like they're doing that exact same game plan when it comes to straight talk. So basically what they're doing is they're grabbing straight talk. They're buying it up. And what they're doing is, okay, let's just tell you how my experience with Straight Talk was beforehand. I'm rambling on right now. My experience with Straight Talk when I first got it is that their customer service was okay. They were pretty good. What I want to do is rate their customer service and give it basically a three and a half, three point five 3.5 out of 5. And the reason why I say 3.5 out of 5 is because there were some problems with Straight Talk customer service, but for the most part, they actually put in the effort to actually help you when you had issues. That's my personal experience. So also, when it came to their network, I rarely had any drop signal, and I also used their network to actually do a lot of things that I need to get done, especially when it comes to uh, my job, my work, or when it comes to looking for a job, putting in applications and stuff like that, or if it's leisure, if I want to watch Netflix or something like that, their unlimited plan actually helped a lot with me being able to do that especially when it comes to me tethering my phone to my computer for me to actually do certain things that I need to get done like pay bills and stuff like that so if the service has been at that point reliable for me as uh, you know as well and if there's any issues customer service will come in and actually help with those issues I can call customer service for straight talk and straight up they will like I said help me and they will make sure that they try their best to get you know to get the problem solved and if they can't then they go behind and, and they escalate it to see if a higher up can get it and really are they able to get the job done another thing I liked about customer service is that, that you can actually text the letters APN in order to update your network and it actually updated your network so say for instance you're probably in an area where you have like one or two bars you type APN in wait a few seconds it sends you an update uh, based on your location and then all of a sudden you might get an extra bar or two sometimes that will happen if it doesn't it, now if you're not going to get any extra bars it's not going to drop your coverage it's just going to keep it the same well other than that it, it was very plenty of full helpful now let's go ahead and rate the customer service since Verizon took over I give the customer service a negative 10 out of 5 and the reason why is because their customer service people are straight selfish and annoying and ignorant and it gets on my nerves no I'm not sitting up here telling a lie I am telling you the absolute truth and I'm sure, pretty sure that when you look at these reviews right here they can agree with me like number one um, let's go ahead and look at this review so this person here said that I don't know why I don't have smooth, smooth scrolling on. So we'll go ahead and look at this one review right here. This person said that they purchased a SIM card with help from customer service, arranging for the existing number. Now, it said the agent took the number included for the PIN for the $45 a month plan. Now, here's the thing. They said that the day before, on the 20th of September, they initiated uh, uh, via text uh, using Wi-Fi because the handset wouldn't work. So they spent our customer service finally got a message saying that they need to call corporate why would you need to call corporate if you can't you see I don't see what corporate's gonna do for that now they said when they asked for more information uh, they was refused it they had to go back to Walmart attempt another 40 minutes just to be told that the SIM card itself was flagged as 
not working. Okay, here's another review right here. I'm leaving the names out, but you, you get the point. Uh, one star review right here it says, long-term customer with three phones, won a Motorola Chromebook in their spin game, and they didn't want to pay out the offer of the prize. They said that they don't offer that prize, and it's under investigation. Have the picture of the winnings, they are worthless. This is absolutely true. There's a little spinning mini game that they used to try to have you play when Verizon first took over. And if you want anything significant on that game, uh, they just claim that it malfunctioned. You know, sort of like how the casinos do. You know how the casinos do. Them casinos be sitting up there malfunctioning every time you get a win. Oh, you want a million dollars? Malfunction. You want a hundred thousand? Oh, malfunction. Hell, you even want ten thousand dollars? Machine malfunction. They're on the same straight stuff. Let's go and see the reviews in which people was with them for as long as I was. Okay, so here we got another review right here. It says, been with Straight Fall for 13 years. I've been with Straight Fall for about 11 or 12 years. So they actually, you know, they're actually saying something. I had to use the Donald on you know what I'm saying? But anyways, you know, they were wonderful. They're awesome. They're sweet. Uh, it was the best service ever. It was at the time, but now, 13 years, it said with no info, they put all three lines on one plan. That's literally what happened. What happened is, for those of you know, if you go in the app and look at it, you can no longer pay for each of your lines separate like you used to be able to. They're now forcing you to pay for all your lines at the same time. And even if you try to pay for a line a day earlier, a day late, they adjust the price accordingly because they want you to re-up all your lines on the exact same day whether you can afford it or not what i liked about the old straight talk app and let's get on the app right now apn no longer works text message apn no longer works where it used to work and the app used to be able to pay for each of your lines separately you can no longer do that at all period why i don't know Maybe it's something they decide to go ahead and do in order to try to get more money out of you and force you more money by saying, hey, if you don't want to pay for this line, you can't have any of them. T bunch of malarkey. Tell me about it. Their customer service is trash. Straight Talk customer service right now is straight, utter, and complete trash. The reason why I say it's straight, utter, and complete trash is because of the simple freaking fact that when you sit up there and try to call them for anything if they cannot fix the problem they will hang up the phone on you i've had supervisors hang the phone up on me when okay let me give you an example so i don't know if i have the pictures for it i'll make a part two to where you can see all that my text message and stuff let's go ahead and finish reading this i'm sorry i had to jump off of it but let's go ahead and read this line right here customer service has gotten even worse with verizon and i did not think straight talk could get any worse but it did so started switching to t-mobile before the weekend straight talk kept the number hostage would not put her over until after the due date then said he forgot to turn off auto pay, so they got $116 they refused to get back. Never used any data on sales and only one day on home. They stole my, his money. Yeah, they they do that. Here's another one talking about the customer service. Uh, it says the worst customer service experience I, I've ever experienced and getting worse. Recently was advised all lines on the account have to renew under a multi-line plan, which has not been the case for 10 plus years. I've had service with them. Never opt in to any changes, nor was I advised there would be a change. I was advised I need to split the lines on separate accounts. I just got through talking about that too. Then it says the lines were split and no one could tell me how to access any of the lines to add service for the next month. I went online and created a new account to add the line to error messages called customer service, which of course is overseas somewhere. No one understood what the issue was or how to resolve. It says more right here, but it's not like we click more. Did my internet go down while I was talking crap about them? So let me go ahead and elaborate. Um, basically, if you need any type of help, matter of fact, remember that hotspot I told you I got took it off my account I try to add that onto a brand new account because I was supposedly told that's what I had to do is get it on a separate account in order to pay for it separately guess what you can't add it on there no more that's correct I can't add the hotspot on there anymore isn't that awesome 
So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep those devices that I bought from Straight Talk and I'm gonna just get a new SIM card with a new company and go ahead and mess with the new company anyways. I'm already shopping for uh, my internet to get new company and I know what company I'm gonna pick but I don't wanna say it in this video because I'm not trying to act like I'm advertising for them. But I will say it's a very good company that has 4.2 stars, 4.2 uh five stars 4.9 stars even um and i'll just go ahead and do it that way and if they don't like it that's well that's too bad on them but i'm gonna tell you straight talk is going straight to trash it's straight crap you straight up don't need it you'd be better off straight going to the store and straight up getting you something new and straight up getting something better because straight talk is nothing but talk right now Exactly. So I do want to thank. I look okay. So I do want to thank y'all for paying attention to this video. This video went on a lot longer than it did because I had to go on a rant real quick. But what I'm telling you is, straight talk is trash now. It's no longer good. Verizon, since they bought it over, is destroying trade talk because they're trying to get rid of it because they want everything done directly through them. Where they got these high prices. And these hidden fees that they claim they don't have, but there's plenty of hidden fees. So what I'm saying is, see if you can go find some competition, uh, somebody who's better in your area. Uh, because far as we know, uh, with the Great Reset coming, I have a feeling that all these companies are just going to start merging together anyways. Because we already know, it's, all, all the phone services are owned by two companies, Viacom and Telecommunications. We already know that. Like, it's only two companies that own literally all access to phone services and internet services like everybody's umbrella under them just like Disney has an umbrella of companies that they own even companies you didn't think Disney would even own so yeah alright be safe I smack you in the face I'm out of here alright see you later